Today is Mesothelioma Awareness Day, so we're going all blue to support our good friend, Kim Gray. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me for this special edition video. As I mentioned before, today is Mesothelioma Awareness Day, and we're going all blue to support our friend, Kim Gray. But before we get into that, I want to remind you this video is brought to you in part by our good friends at Leaf. I'll pop up the twig and the leaf right there. If you'd like 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB and save yourself some money while shopping at Leaf. All right, for the blue shade today, and um, we're just again trying to raise uh, awareness for the disease mesothelioma, which is a rare form of cancer. We'll start out with the soap. And this is the fine 21st century barber blue so we have a blue theme going we've got a blue shirt we got a blue soap the blue will continue uh, let's talk a little bit about the soap here this is the fine 21st century formula my first time using it uh, it runs 24 dollars for five ounces or on a cost chart there that's a fair price of 480. initially when i saw this soap come to market i was like man 24 dollars i didn't realize at the time it was five ounces so it's still in that fair range but compared to the price of their old soap you know, it's uh, taken quite an increase. This one smells like the classic Floyd Blue Aftershave, which is really nice. It has medium scent strength. We'll put the notes for you on the screen right there. It's really nice. I like it a lot. It's a little softer in consistency than I would like, but I didn't have any problem lathering it. I'll show you a shot of the lather right there really quick. And as you can see there, no problems with the lather. It whipped up really, really uh, nicely. This is a tallow-based soap. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And I look forward to using this for the first time today. The razor is also nice and blue. This is the Wade and Butcher for a gentleman's use razor. And let's see if you can see that stamp up there. I'm not sure if you can or not. Depends on the light probably. But these are very hard to come by, and this was a treasured gift from The Stallion. Uh, the Stallion hasn't made any videos for a while, but folks, relax. He'll be back when he has time. Uh, he always comes back after a hiatus. He's probably enjoying himself on the golf course. But Stallion, if you happen to see this, thank you, sir, for this treasured gift. I really appreciate it. This razor was made in the 1800s, probably mid uh, 1800s and of course it's been rescaled and reprofiled but we're gonna use that and that is quite blue indeed of course we got the blue shirt we also have a the blue towel the timeless towel that I use <coughs> excuse me to uh, wipe my blade off and for any other drying needs or toweling needs I have during the shave um, what else do we have oh we have blue bowl this is my timeless bowl you know normally I use the captain's choice but today for the blue we've used the blue bowl we have our BBS Live mug, which is blue, Wolf Whiskers brush, which I'll show you in a moment, which is blue. We have a blue Lancaster towel over here. If you can see this, can you see it? I don't know. Oh, by the way, we also used our Mike D strop today, which is not blue. Uh, if you saw my unboxing with this, I used it today. It was nice. It's a fast draw, or at least let's show you the right side of it. <laughs> I was showing you the wrong side. Uh, fast draw strop, really, really nice, Mike. And of course, this was the case, razor case. He sent me. That's not blue, but we'll set it aside. Also, folks, we have giveaways to announce today, courtesy of the Razor Company to raise awareness for this. So stay tuned. We have a lot to get into today. Uh, I don't know what all blue I might have forgotten, but let's get into it. Let's just go ahead and miss the face and, and start our shave. I hope you all are having a great Sunday today. Uh, I look forward to having a great Sunday today. We always do. Every day is a blessing, folks. Every day is a blessing. All right. Let's get to lathering it, and I don't know if you can see the sheen on that lather, but we've got a good lather with it. Yeah, I can see the sheen on that. It looks pretty good. Got some good hydration in it, which I, I like especially for straight razor shaving. And folks, I've been mentioning this recently because I'll have so many people when I post the photos, and you can see now that's the way the lather really looks. There's no photography trickery. Now that said, in the light, you know, you're getting the best possible look at that sheen when I take a photo, but... Sheen on a lather is just a result of getting hydration into it and, and getting a good mix. And I tend to go a little more hydrated than most people these days. You don't have to, and honestly, you don't have to have that sheen on your lather. You can get a perfectly fine shave without it. So lather in the way that provides for the best shave. Don't beat yourself up over lather. If your lather looks thin and you like it, go with it. If your lather is thick and pasty, go with, go with it. As long as your results are great, just go with it. All right, man. This smells good too. Floyd Blue, classic 
aftershave scent. All right, let's wipe that down just a little bit. And we will get into the shave today. And I've been looking forward to this one. So Cam, if you're watching, this one is uh, for you today and we hope we will shave well, but no guarantees we're human. Sometimes we make mistakes just like everybody else. All right, but a great shave, a great comfortable shave is always the goal. Here we go with our Wade and Butcher Gents Use. It's been a while since I've used this razor. Again, this razor goes back to the mid to late 1800s. You don't see many of these razors around. I've only ever seen a, a handful. And so this was tru truly a treasured gift from uh, the stallion who was a good friend. I need to check in on him because I haven't talked to him for a while. But during the summer, you know, he likes to get his golf on. And so I think most people have realized that, hey, he's probably having fun out there golfing. His uh, business is also very, very busy in the summer. So he'll be back when time permits, I'm sure. So don't worry, don't worry, he hasn't left us. And I'm sure he's still getting some, some great shaves in and we'll see him again, probably when the weather changes, but you know, I'll reach out to him and and, uh, and see what's going on. I'm pretty sure, I think he won, I saw it on Facebook, he won his uh, country club uh, championship again. So he's a very good golfer. He's won that club championship two years in a row now. So congratulations to you. Very nice, very nice. And that lather is just about to fall off, as you can see there. I'm not gonna do the old Johan uh, bloop because I'm not right over my sink. So as you can see, it looks like things are crooked. It's because I'm at sort of an angle. I'm on the side of the sink because uh, it's the best place for my camera. So the reason why it always might look weird, the shower door there, it's not because it's slanted. It's because of the angle of the, uh, of the tripod here that's on my sink. It makes things appear, kind of throws you off a little bit. Very nice. And this razor, by the way, still has Stallion's original uh, edge, and I did bloop there. <laughs> so there we go. We've had our Johan bloop. Some people don't like to get as much hydration in their lather because they don't like that blooping. It doesn't bother me. It's no problem for me. If I bloop, I'll just wipe it off, and like I'm not going to wear this shirt out after I've shaved in it. So <laughs> I put this on, and you know I'll shave in it, and then I'll change shirts. So I'm not going to walk around with the uh, lather all over our shirt for the rest of the day, or at least I don't plan to. I do know how to use a washing machine, so if all my clothes are dirty, I'll just wash them. <laughs> all right, so between passes here, let's get into our giveaways for you folks, courtesy of the Razor Company, again, to raise awareness for mesothelioma. And these are blue, and the first one, and I've taken the plastic off these so I can uh, set them apart. This is Master Soap Creations Deep Blue, unused by me. Also 11 Blue Spruce, unused by me. This is the first giveaway. And the way that you enter the first giveaway is hashtag, just like this, exactly like this, including the hashtag Kim Gray. Kim Gray, and Kim Gray is our friend that is suffering from or fighting mesothelioma. So hashtag Kim Gray and give an encouraging word and that will enter you for the first giveaway. For the second giveaway, it is going to be Declar Declaration Grooming uh, Shore, which I smelled and it's nice, but unused. And also Lone Bear by the Lather Brothers. And the way that you enter get giveaway number two, and you can enter and you can and should enter <laughs> both giveaways, is hashtag, just like this, no mezo. No mezo for, we don't want mezo theme mesothelioma around. You didn't think I was going to make it through this video without butchering that, did you? No, you didn't think so. Anyway, number two, hashtag no meso. In about a week from now, I will uh, announce the winners, and I have plenty more stuff coming for giveaways. So if you don't win, more giveaways are coming. I, I got a whole box of stuff, and I'm going to do two giveaways a week, and then I will ship them out to you. Jason actually offered to pay for the shipping, too. I was like, no, you've done enough. I'll cover the shipping. Uh, I mean, we all need to, to work together 
to be generous and supportive in this hobby and I try to do my part to the best of my ability too. But Jason is incredible. I mean, if you're not shopping at the Razor Company, watch what he does and how he conducts himself. And, uh, you know, he has excellent service at the Razor Company, but what a beautiful person he is. So generous, so helpful, and he really um, does his best to be supportive of all of us, including, remember, he, he, uh, he didn't take a penny on, he put that soap out, The Warrior, for Kim Gray. Did not take a penny on that. So he's an amazing person, Jason. So give him some support, folks, and please uh, thank him below in the comments for these giveaways, which will be going for, you know, probably the next little bit. Now, pretty soon I will be traveling to my mother's, but we'll still be announcing giveaways. We'll still announce them. Maybe I'll take a photo of something and I'll announce it. Might take me a little bit to ship them out because when I'm gone, you know, I won't be running to the post office. But um, we will continue these giveaways weekly. And I'll get, get them to you, you know, as I can. Because, you know, life does sometimes happen. Pretty good lather there, I would say. Nice and hydrated. I really pushed the hydration on this because I wanted to see if it could handle it. And it did. It handled it okay. More hydration than I probably need. But it's going to be slick. You're going to be assured of that. And that's what I'm shooting for. Nice, slick lather. All right. Excellent in our, again, we've even, we've made sacrifice today, folks. We're not using our Captain's Choice Oh, We got a ton of lather in there, though. This smells great. If you like Floyd, classic Floyd Blue, which was discontinued some years ago. You know, you might want to check this one out. Now, I didn't buy the Splash because I love the Razor Rock, uh, what's it called? Blue Barbershop or something like that. Look at that on my shoulder there. I'm making a mess. This is why we have the blue towel for situations like this where we're being sloppy. <laughs> All right, and also to wipe our blade off, so. All right, let's get involved with pass number two so we don't have a video that's obnoxiously long <laughs> because I realize not everybody has time to hear me flapping all day. You see, we're about to bloop right there right now. Let's just go ahead and catch that lather. Hear the feedback there? Shut up there for a minute so you could hear that. Very nice. Let's rinse that off before I bloop. Oh man, really nice shave today. I really love this blade. I love the looks of it. I love the fact that who knows what stories this blade could tell. You know, being as old as it is, it's made in uh, Sheffield. Was made in Sheffield, England. I've used it quite a bit. Nice. Can you hear the feedback there? Very nice indeed. It's definitely a good shaver. People have varying opinions on uh, Sheffield blades. It used to be when I first started straight razor shaving in earnest or doing it seriously, because I the first time I ever did it was probably eight years ago, but doing it seriously was, was last year. And everybody I talked to were like, you know, Sheffield steel is magical and it's the greatest of all time. And then just yesterday, I was in a conversation with some folks who hone, and they're like, I hate honing Sheffield blades. And so I guess it depends on which one you get and when they were made. And because, you know, these blades, uh, at least from the 1800s, are quite old and you don't know what they've been put through. And uh, so, um, even though a blade can look great and look like, hey, that thing will take a perfect edge, you never know because the heat treatment on it affects its ability to take an edge. And you just never know, you know, what has uh, become of one of these blades and what it's been through. But I would love to know the stories that this one could tell, wouldn't you? I find stuff like that to be um, very interesting to, to think about where this riser might have been, what it might have gone through. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh man, I tell you what, just an enjoyable blue shave today. And please, uh, in addition to entering the giveaway, say a kind word to Kim today. You know, cheer her on, root her on. She's facing some uh, serious procedures upcoming. And she could really use a kind word, your good vibes and encouragement. She is a fighter. 
and uh, she has a very positive attitude. And that's one of the things that I like about her the most. Um, she doesn't mope around. Um, we talked not too long ago, and you know, she has her days when she's down, just like anybody who's facing serious illness, but she, uh, most days, doesn't focus on that, tries to focus on getting the most out of her days, and that is a remarkable attitude, and I think that folks who take that attitude are definitely doing it the right way, and, and they can use all our uh, thoughts, our prayers, our good vibes, our love and consideration. So if you have some to give, give it below for Kim, not only for Kim, but everybody who's suffering from mesothelioma, easy for you to say, um, in all forms of cancer, really. But today we're just focusing on mesothelioma. Whew. I get tongue twisted. I'm liable to have a tongue injury today. So folks, <laughs> look out. All right. That was excellent. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum. And notice the blue band on the soap. Uh, no stinging from the alum, so that was a very nice, super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. And that's the way we like to do it here. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And a lot of people ask me how I apply this. I just just spritz it on and just sort of wipe it a little bit or pat it, whatever you want to do, or you can just leave it set. That's the way I do it. And I'll link all the products used below, including this bottle, if you are interested. So our first run today with the fine 21st century shaving soap. It's a good soap you can buy with confidence. Ideally, it would come at a little better cost because in the world of, you got soaps like Crown and Crane, Master Soap Creations, Sterling, Shannon's, they produce a really excellent result at less uh, cost. But this one, uh, you can buy with confidence in terms of you'll get a great lather out of it. Or if you work at it, you'll get a great lather out of it. I'd like to see it priced a little better personally, but you know, what are you gonna do? I'd like to see everything priced better. But the scent was great. Uh, I got a great lather out of it. What can I say other than really, really nice first run with it? We'll see how it goes as time goes on and I use it more. But first run was positive. Of course, we used our Wade and, but Wade and Butcher Gentleman's Juice, which I set over there to dry so I won't bring it back in here. Thank you, Stallion, for that tremendous gift. I really appreciate it and I hope you're doing well. We used our Wolf Whiskers TSE brush in our uh, BBS Live mug. And I'm using that today just for the blue theme. We used our Timeless Bowl in blue and you, we used that for the blue theme and we're going to finish it off today with this is a Razor Rock Blue Barbershop I think it is or something like that. This is great. This smells really nice. This is one of my favorite Floyd inspired scents. It's very bright. It's very awesome. And folks, I want to thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to enter the giveaways and don't forget give Kim Gray and all the folks who suffer from mesothelioma your encouragement below. I would really appreciate that. It's always nice to be uplifting and give a kind word, especially to folks who are going through a very difficult time. So Kim, this one was for you. Blessings to you, love, thoughts and prayers. And I know you're gonna fight this and you will prevail. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.